there are different ways to uh, dry hop. Uh, normally, uh, people use the uh, put the hops in a bag and uh, dunk in the beer and let it contact for a week or two. Uh, and, and there's also a alternative way, uh, which I'm going to show you here, uh, to add some uh, hop aroma to your finished uh, homebrew beer. Uh, what I'm using here is a, a alternative way to uh, uh, I think it's called a hops rocket. Uh, hops rocket is a very absolutely very nice product. It's a stainless steel uh, filter look, filter housing looking device that you can put hops in it, and from that uh, you pass through the uh, uh, your finished product right before you drink. Uh, today I'm gonna show you a way, another way. This is a much much cheaper. It's a uh, filter housing for for your water water purification system. This is a, uh, I think it's an ion exchange filter housing. Uh, you can just load up the, the whole flower hops in here. Uh, the reason why I use the whole flowers is because the, uh, the pellets are too fine ground and uh, it's gonna plug up the strainers on the end. So I'm gonna use the uh, whole flowers. And I really have to rig it up to fit it to my 5 liter mini keg dispenser. Alright, the uh, original uh, tubing is a 4 by 6 millimeters, 4 millimeter ID, 6 millimeters OD, I think. It's a pretty weird sizing, uh, pretty difficult to find, so I have to uh, use a different connections. Alright, I'm going to give it a try here. Need a little more pressure. You can actually set the uh, filter housing in the ice box later. There you go. It's a uh, Perfectly dry hopped Belgian Saison beer. Smells so good. Cheers.